13 causes of the car vibrating at high speed while accelerating. Lots of people question the condition of a car that suddenly vibrates at high speed. The car becomes uncomfortable to drive, which makes drivers anxious and frightened. A vibrating car usually results from a bad car condition. For experienced drivers, of course, a vibrating car is straightforward to analyze and find the cause, but it will be difficult for beginners, especially when driving at high speeds. For beginners who experience their car vibrating unnaturally, the car's condition must be repaired immediately, which prevents damage to other car components. A car that is quickly repaired will also prevent drivers from unwanted situations. The car's cause of vibration can indeed arise from various aspects, so the analysis must be done correctly. The following are reasons a car vibrates when driving at high speed, especially for beginners. 1. Bad brakes. A problem with the car brakes can also cause a vibrating car, and it is easy to detect it. You drive the car at high speed and step on the car brakes to see the brake disc's problem. If the disc is physically imperfect and almost exhausted, it will reduce the braking force and cause a vibration when the brake is applied. Brake discs like this should be replaced with new ones. You can replace your car brake discs in authorized repair shops or roadside workshops because many regular workshops can repair brake discs well. However, stock brake discs are often challenging to find in traditional workshops. Not only the disc, but you also have to pay attention to or check the brake pads because the canvases can also cause the car to vibrate when you brake. If the brake pads are in bad condition, the car will not be able to brake optimally. The braking system in a car has a significant role because it is a safety component in driving. If you see a problem with the brakes of the vehicle, then fix it immediately. 2. Rear axles. The vibration of a car while driving can also be caused by axles in bad condition or damage. The axle can be damaged quickly by having an accident, mainly if the accident is classified as severe. Broken axles will indeed make the wheels unstable and will cause vibrations in the car. When the car is used at high speed, vibrations will be felt. The axle can also be damaged if the car is too overloaded. The axle is one of the essential components in a car because it is at the bottom of the car. If the axle is damaged, it will significantly affect the stability of the car. When you have detected damage to the axle, you must immediately bring the car to the repair shop and immediately repair it. In fixing the axle, of course, you have to prepare quite a lot of money. The axle has a firm texture so it won't be damaged easily, and most of the damage is due to fatal accidents. 3. The wheels are out of balance. Vibrations caused by wheels are usually felt through the steering wheel. One of the possible culprits for this might be worn or damaged wheel bearings. Though wheel bearings are generally one of the longest lasting mechanical parts of a vehicle, in rare instances, they may become damaged or stop properly functioning for a variety of reasons. Tie rod ends or ball joints may be another issue. If the steering wheel feels ordinary while you're driving straight, but starts to shake around a curve, this may signal worn out tie rod ends. Wheel runout may be another cause of car vibration. The term refers to any deviation from a truly circular spin and is measured with a dial indicator. This wheel issue might result in either up and down vibrations or a sideways, wobbly motion in a wheel. 4. Bad inner drive shaft and triax joint. This part have different types with different components one with spider joint and bearings that sluts into a cup and one that isn't detachable. However when the triax or spider bearing loose grease, it makes a rattling noise and cause the vehicle to vibrate excessively when you are accelerating. 5. Bad tires. Tires are one of the causes of cars vibrating when driven at high speeds. Tires do have a significant role in a vehicle, be it four wheels or two wheels. With tires, the car can run smoothly on the road. If there is a problem with the tires, it will significantly affect the speed of the vehicle. Bare tires usually make the car difficult to brake or slippery, and when the tire is flat, 
it will cause vibrations in the car. Vibrations in the car can also be caused by the tire's unbalanced position, such as car tires that are too small or not up to standard. The amount of air in the tires must be evenly distributed so that the car can move straight without shaking. Tire rotation that is not aligned will make the balance of the car disturbed and shaky. Vibration not only makes the car uncomfortable to use, but the car is also hazardous when forced to keep going. The different air pressure of the car tires will also make the shock breaker heavier, and if left for a long time, the damage will spread to the steering wheel. When you feel the car experiencing a vibration, you should immediately come to the tire filling station. If the tires are left underinflated for a long time, the tire resistance will be reduced, and the tire will have the potential to pop. 6. Car engine. The engine is also one of the car's causes to vibrate when used at speed or high speed. If the engine part of the car does not get adequate fuel intake and is left alone, it will cause damage or problems to the electrical components. The engine also will not be able to work optimally. If the car clutch is used up and the car's settings are not good or precise, it will affect the engine's performance. The car will experience vibrations when driven at high speed if the engine is underperforming. To solve engine problems, you can check the fuel supply section or check the gasoline filter section. You also have to check other engine components such as gasoline filters and spark plugs. If you find a dirty gasoline filter or spark plug, clean it immediately. Gasoline filters and dirty spark plugs can clog, so engine performance is not optimal. It's a good idea to carry out routine maintenance and replace machine components regularly following the manufacturer's recommendations. 7. Shock Breaker A vibrating car can also be caused by suboptimal performance. The shock breaker helps reduce and dampen the vibrations that arise when the car is driving so that the shock breaker can cause the vehicle to vibrate. If the shock breaker is in a damaged condition, it will automatically cause a car's vibration. Situations like this must be resolved quickly so that the car can go to the maximum again and the car is more comfortable to use at high speed. The vibration will generally appear when the car is used at high speed. If the vibration occurs when the car is used at a low speed, this signifies that the shock breaker is badly damaged and must be replaced or repaired immediately. You can also replace the old shock breaker with a new one so that the car's performance returns to optimal. With the new shock breaker, the car's vibrations will disappear, and you will be more comfortable driving. 8. Bad Inner Drive Shaft Cup The inner drive shaft cup is designed to have a look-alike like a cup. When it develops clearing between the internal walls of it and the, the spider bearing, it creates a vibration when you are accelerating. 9. Bad Drive Shaft When you have a bad drive shaft, it doesn't only make a rattling noise when you turn your steering half turn and step on the gas pedal from the first gear. This drive shaft also creates vibration when you are accelerating at a fast speed. 10. Bad Motor Mounts Your car motor mount is designed to absorb the vibration that is coming from the engine to your car chassis. This motor mounts also assist in stabilizing your engine from excessive vibrations at idle. When thus motor mounts fails and the rubber cracked open, it fails to absorb the engine vibration and this creates more vibration when you step on the gas pedal. 11. Loosed Wheel Log The wheel logs play a critical role in ensuring a firm grip of your hub and rims. Most times, the mechanics who fitting the tire back eye are even the car owners often forget to tighten the this log bolts to specs. This loose contact doesn't create any much noise OT excessive vibrations at a lower speed. However, at a higher high acceleration, this vibration will kick in. If yo I didn't catch this on time, the tire will fly off while at higher speed. A simple check using your wheels socket will help you find the culprit by checking it one after the other. 12. Bad Transmission Axle Bearings Most mechanics and car enthusiasts who are trying to solve a problem relating to car vibration at higher speeds will often not look at this area, because it is the least expected area to make such mess. 
this is quite hectic to troubleshoot as it requires attention to, to details in order to determine if this transmission axle bearings is bad or not as it is hidden inside. Makes it hard to find. 13. Bad wheel bearings. The wheel bearings of your car is not immune to failure. At the eventuality of failure due to age or dirt particles, this bearings will not only make your car to vibrate while accelerating but also make some terrible noise. 14. Bad U-joints causes vibrations at high speeds. Universal joints, U-joints, in the drive shaft allow flexibility and rotation at varying angles. If the U-joints are worn, loose, or seized, they can cause misalignment of the drive shaft, leading to vibrations that intensify with speed. These vibrations typically originate from the drivetrain and may feel rhythmic or pulsating. In severe cases, a bad U-joint can lead to drive shaft failure, further exacerbating the issue and creating safety risks. If you have watched this content down to this point, you may have come across one or multiple reasons why your car vibrates at high speed. Thanks for watching I am Dr. Cool Auto Fix. Kindly subscribe to my channel, it's absolutely free and do drop a comment on which one solved your problem. To help others who may be in doubt to clear their minds. Where did you learn to count?